Breaking news. Ghana alerts border control to stop Nigerian jaybreakers from entering their country. Hello, my wonderful people. It's happening. You know, some time ago, if you remember, there is this shaka bag they call Ghana must go. Nigeria was so uh, doing very well economically that some Ghanaians used to come into Nigeria. And after a while, Nigerians were the ones who raised the alarm that Ghanaians were taking over their country and that they should go back home. I remember my parents telling me that that is the origin of the Ghana must go, you know. And um, today, the, uh, I don't want to say reverse is the case. We all know of what happened in Oweri and um, Ghana government has raised an alarm and has called on their uh, border control agencies to make sure that they manned their uh, border so that those who have committed a jailbreak in Nigeria do not uh, infiltrate into their uh, country and begin to commit crime. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Ghana alerts border control to stop Nigerian jailbreakers from entering their country. The Ghana Immigration Service, IGIS, has said Ghana is on the lookout for over 1,800 jailbreakers in Nigeria. Controller General of Immigration, Kumar Akosi, has directed all border control commander to be on a high security alert to prevent them from entering into Ghana. A statement signed by its signed by him signed on his behalf by the deputy controller general in charge of the operation and command post, Mr. Ladi Afuk reads information gathered by the service indicates that more than 1800 prisoners escaped from the Oweri correction center in Imo state nigeria on monday the 5th of april 2021 i am directed to bring the incidents to the attention of all controllers you are to inform officers and men under your command to take note and be on the high security alert to prevent the entry of this criminal escapee from entering the country treat us or treats as urgent and acts accordingly more than 1800 prisoners inmates escaped from the Oweri correction center in Imo state south southern part of nigeria after a heavy gun 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 attackers attacked the prison the armed men found their way into the prison engaged the guard the guards and on a gun battle and freed inmates. The National Correction Authority said this in a statement that Nigerians, some Nigerians who have escaped are on their way, some trying to infiltrate through the border and escape from the country. One inmate died in the stampede and followed but and followed the why others followed officer said one police officer sustained a minor bullet wound on the shoulder the security officers have meanwhile repelled the attack of the people who tried to commit the jailbreak can you imagine this is what is happening so to Ghana now, don't don't see don't see Nigeria say Nigeria now and a place where we see people they run from from prison to come to their country and they are saying you know what stay back don't come into our country. This is what is happening. This is where the matter is at the moment. Ghanaians have risen up and have said you know what we don't want jailbreakers to come into our country. What a country. This is where our government has come to put us today. And uh, everybody sit back and pretend like all is well. My people, all is not well. No, all is not well. I repeat, all is not well. Be wise. Look at what this government have turned this country into. See what they have made Nigerians to be going through. See how the how Nigerians are being treated. You know, see how Nigerians are being treated. How do you explain this? That Nigerians are now like a self target. Nigerians are now, I mean, like people who have no home, no direction. They are being pushed here and there. You don't understand. This is what goes on. And guess what? Nigerians cannot even speak anymore. You know, this is what is going on right now. And um, is a very clear indication that things are not well. 
well in the country. Oh, you see how Nigerians are disgracing themselves. You see how things are beginning to happen. Nigerians are being seen as people who have no direction, who have no way. You know, why would people, if the government truly, really wants things to go well in the country, why would they be putting their very own people in, in you know, their very own people, there are no opportunities for them. If you go to, you know, for instance, countries where they put people in a prison and the rest, you'll be surprised that people in prison eh, are being, eh, they are being um, trained. They give them opportunity to, some even go to school while in prison. In Nigeria, what is there? They go and cut grass. How does that help them in case they now leave? You know, how does that cut uh, help them in case they now leave? Uh, they now stop. They stop stealing. How does that ensure that they are okay? How does that keep them? Do you understand? So this is what is going on right now. As we speak, this is what is happening. A country where there is no leadership, our people becomes the very people who are who are the ones that um, people look at and they just take them for a levity and say, mm, these ones are no people. You know, this is what goes on. This is what happens. This is what Nigeria have turned into. This is what Nigeria have turned into. God will save us. Ghanaians are not saying, Nigerians, Nigerians, please, eh, man the borders. Nigerians are coming. Nigerians who came to, who, who, who ran away from their correction center, they are coming. Hmm? So please, man the borders. Can you imagine? Can you really imagine? So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to say because uh, when you look at the matter, you feel, you feel, you feel sorry for the country. Oh yes, you feel sorry for the country. You feel sorry for the country. You say, oh, what is really happening to Nigeria? What is happening? How did we get here? How did we become the people that are being, you know, being chased around like, you know, we have no voice. How, how did we get here? I tell you what is the leadership of the country. Is the people who are who are in terms of affair. They don't care about Nigerians. Who they really care about is themselves. Go and check Buhari. Himself. You can see now. Look at your Buhari. Where is Buhari today? Buhari is enjoying himself, having the best of medical attention. Why Nigerians are wallowing in despair? Why children in the country, you know, some people cannot have their baby successfully and go back home. Why? Because there is no good medical attention. You know, some will, I'm sorry to say it's a sad reality, but some people will die and all this and all this are happening. And how do you, how do you explain that? How do you how do you explain to the layman that you know there is there is something not right in the country? How do you explain it? Well, my people, we just have to keep praying. Is it that the country breaks up or something is done? Otherwise, I don't know where Nigeria is. Nigeria is headed as a country. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button. God bless you. Bye for now.